planning a visit to Florence? Check out vidtour.com for our Florence travel guides with tips about art, sightseeing, shopping, and nightlife in eight different languages. Here are 10 places you have to visit when you're in Florence. In at number 10, we have two of the most famous galleries in the world, the Uffizi Gallery and Academia. There are 80 museums in the city, but these two are the most popular ones. So expect very long lines during the peak seasons and weekends. Check our website vidtour.com to learn about how to avoid the long lines and explore the galleries in our special Art in Florence video. In at number 9, we have the Mercato Nuovo, the new market. The market itself is not big, and you can find all sorts of tourist souvenirs. However, the real attraction of the market is called the Fontana del Porcellino, which is a bronze statue of a wild boar. According to the legend, if you place a coin on the boar's mouth and rub its snout, you will return to Florence once more. So on to number 8, we have the Piazzale Michelangelo. This large square is probably the best place to view the historic part of Florence. The square is named after the city's most famous artist, so it is no wonder you can find in it a bronze replica of the Statue of David. Check vidtour.com and learn about how to combine a visit of the square with some sightseeing of the historic center. At number 7, we have the Bargello Museum. Located in a palace dated back to the 13th century, this museum is one of the oldest buildings in the city. For many years, it served as the headquarters of the local police, as well as a prison. Today, it is the home of a national museum where you can find sculptures by world-famous masters like Donatello and Michelangelo. It's not as crowded as the Uffizi or Academia, and admission is slightly cheaper. The museum is also open daily until 13.50 p.m. In at number six, we find the Basilica di Santa Croce. This is the biggest Franciscan church in the world, and the legend says that it was founded by St. Francis himself. The church is also the burial ground of Galileo Galilei and Michelangelo. Next to the church, you can also find the Santa Croce Museum, which presents 14th century art. Reaching number five, we find the house of another famous citizen of Florence, the poet Dante Alighieri, which is located in the medieval part of the city. The house operates now as a museum dedicated to Dante's life. The number four attraction is Palazzo Vecchio and Piazza della Signoria. Palazzo Vecchio started as the People's Palace, and was home of the city council. The square next to it is famous due to the replica of the Statue of David. The square is home for the Loggia de Lanzi, which is an open-air sculpture gallery. In at number three, we have Palazzo Pitti. This grand palace is named after a rich merchant called Luca Pitti, who was the biggest opposition to the Medici family. Ironically enough, he died before the palace was finished, and the Medici family bought it and turned it into their home. Today, the palace serves as a huge museum with more than 250,000 pieces of art. And in at number two, it's Ponte Vecchio, which used to be the only bridge in Florence until the year 1218, and it became the only bridge standing during World War II. The old bridge is one of the most famous symbols of the city. When visiting the bridge, try to look for some padlocks locked in various places. 
By locking the padlock and throwing away the key, lovers will become eternally bonded. However, don't try to do it yourself as there is a 50 euro penalty if you're caught. Finally, at our first place spot, it's the Santa Maria del Fiore, also known as the Duomo or the Domo in English. Entrance to the cathedral is free, and this is one of the most popular attractions in the city, so expect to find a long line and tourists waiting to be admitted in. If you wish to climb to the top of the dome, then expect a small fee of 464 steps. It's not an easy climb, but the reward is great as you'll get an amazing panoramic view of Florence. Looking to see more of Florence? Check vidtour.com for great video guides with sightseeing, art, nightlife, and shopping tips.